Safety first. Wear safety glasses, use up-to-date information from approved sources, and before moving the prop, be sure the ignition is in the off position and the spark plugs are disconnected. Now, finding top dead center. Verify the key is not in the ignition and the spark plugs are disconnected. Remove the top spark plugs. Now, rotate the propeller in the direction of travel until compression or blow-by is felt on the number one cylinder. So, I'll place my thumb on the top spark plug hole on the number one cylinder and turn the prop through in the direction of rotation until I feel blow-by. There it is. Now, install the timing disc or flower pot. Now you may insert the top dead center locator. You may rotate the propeller in the opposite direction if necessary. Now slowly rotate the propeller in the direction of travel until the piston touches top dead center locator. Now rotate the timing disc to top center mark. You want to tap that indicator to release the friction. Now rotate the propeller in the opposite direction of travel until it touches the top dead center locator once again. Now observe the reading on the timing disc. Eighty-four, which we will divide by two and set it at forty-two. Now we remove the top dead center locator. And once again, find the compression stroke of the number one cylinder. And now continue rotating the propeller until the arrow is over top center. have now found top dead center. Action. In part two, checking magneto timing. Rotate propeller 
past top center until both impulse couplings have snapped. Now we'll rotate propeller in the opposite direction of travel going past the specified magneto timing point. For our aircraft, the magneto timing is 20 degrees before top center, so we are going to rotate the propeller to about 25 to 30 degrees before top center. Hook up a buzz box tool to the magneto. Insert the key into the ignition and turn it to both. Bump or slowly rotate the propeller in the direction of travel until the timing tool indicates that the magneto has fired and observe the reading on the timing disc. Turn the buzz box on first to get a proper indication. <laughs> Compare the indicated reading with the specified magneto timing point. It's not correct. If the magneto was in standards, we would move on to the second magneto. If the magneto is not within standards, we must proceed to timing the magneto. Timing the magneto. Loosen the mounting bolts on the magneto, but do not remove them. Turn on the timing box and rotate the magneto until it is just firing at the specified timing point. When the magneto is just firing, slowly tighten the mounting bolts, being careful not to rotate the magneto. After the magneto mount is tight, rotate the propeller opposite the direction of travel about 10 degrees before specified timing point. Then bump or slowly rotate the propeller in the direction of travel until the magneto fires. Observe the timing disc and compare the indicated reading with the specified magneto timing point. 20 degrees. If the magneto is not firing within limits, repeat the above steps to correct the problem. If the magneto is firing within limits, you are done. You can now torque the magneto mounting bolts and complete one last check of the timing. 